African Alexandrovich Spur Russian, African Alexandrovich Spur German, African von Spur French, African de Spur Italian, Africano Spur, the 15th of November 1837 to the 26th of March 1890 was a Russian neo-Kantian philosopher of German Greek descent who wrote primarily in German. His book Denken und Wirklichkeit Thought and Reality exerted a lasting impact on the writings of Friedrich Nietzsche. Topic. Biography Spur was born on 15 November 1837 in his father's estates of Spirovska, near the city of Elisavetgrad Elizabethgrad, Kherson Governorate, Russian Empire now Kropivnitsky, Ukraine. His father, Alexander Alexandrovich Spur, of German descent, was a Russian surgeon—chief physician of the military hospital of Odessa specifically, and former professor of mathematics in Moscow. In 1812, he received the Order of St. Vladimir, was knighted, and became councillor and member of Kherson's governorate hereditary nobility. His mother, Helena Konstantinovna Spur, daughter of the Major Pulevich, was on her mother's side the granddaughter of the Greek painter Logino, who arrived in Russia under the reign of Catherine the Great. Alexander Spur gave each of his five children—four boys and one girl— Names chosen in an old Greek calendar, this is the source of the curious name, African. Spur disliked his Christian name, simply signing his letters and books, A. Spur. His modesty impelled him not to use either the German, von, or the French, de, denoting his noble status, before his family name. He described his education as follows. I spent my childhood in the countryside and later I studied for a while in Odessa, first in a private boarding school and after in a gymnasium, more or less equivalent, if I do not mistake, to a French high school. I have not been at the university, instead I entered the midshipmen's school in Nikolaev now Mykolaev, not far from the Black Sea. During this period he developed an interest in philosophy and read in the French translation of Tissot Immanuel Kant's Critique of Pure Reason, which gave him the basis of his speculative thought. He later followed the readings of Descartes, David Hume, and Stuart Mill. In 1855, at the age of 18, he participated as sub-lieutenant of the Russian Navy in the Crimean War, during which he was twice decorated Order of St. Andrew and Order of St. George. Spur defended the same bastion N, for at Malakoff as Leo Tolstoy during the siege of Sevastopol. After his father's death in 1852, he inherited his father's estates his last remaining brother, the poet Aristarch, having died in 1841 whereupon he emancipated his serfs and gave them land, goods and money, presaging the reform of 1861. In 1862, he left Elizabethgrad for a tour in Germany, where he spent two years to know better the mind's matter. His sister Caritas died soon after his return to Russia in 1864. After the death of his mother, in 1867, he sold his estates at a ridiculously low price, distributed almost all of his possessions and left Russia permanently. He first went to Leipzig, where he attended the lectures of Moritz Wilhelm Drobisch 1802-1896, a Herbartian philosopher and one of the forerunners of the Neo-Kantian revival of the 1860s. He was there at the same time that Nietzsche was a student, although it does not appear that they met. In 1869, he moved to Tübingen and to Stuttgart in 1871. Here, at the Orthodox Church of the Court, he married on 30 January 1872, Elizabeth Elise Gatternich and the two had a daughter, Ellen. In Leipzig, Spur befriended the publisher and fellow Freemason Joseph Gabriel Findel, who published most of Spur's works. His most important book, Denken und Wirklichkeit, for such einer Erinnerung der kritischen Philosophie Thought and Reality, Attempt at a Renewal of Critical Philosophy was published in 1873. A second edition, which was the one owned by Nietzsche, was published in 1877. In an attempt to reach a broader readership, Spur wrote directly in French his Esquisses de Philosophie Critique Outlines of Critical Philosophy, published for the first time in 1877. A new edition was published 40 years after his death, in 1930, with an introduction by the French philosopher and professor at the Sorbonne Léon Brunskvig. In 1878, having suffered from pneumonia, in order to treat the consequences of his illness, a chronic cough, Spur moved to Lausanne, Switzerland, where he spent five years. In 1884, Spur asked the Russian emperor authorization to leave Russian citizenship and to obtain Swiss citizenship. 
In the same year, he received the imperial authorization and applied for a certificate of registry at Belmont sur Lausanne, where he lived with his family. In 1886, to enjoy the facilities of a bigger library, the Societe de Lecture, a private reading society, he moved to Geneva. On 17 September 1889, he received from the Swiss federal government the authorization for his wife, his daughter, and himself to become Swiss citizens. He died of influenza in Geneva, at 6 rue Petito, on 26 March 1890. He was buried in the St. Georges Cemetery. He was survived by his wife Elizabeth and his daughter, Eline. Manuscripts, personal papers, photographs, books by or on African Spur were donated in March 1940 by his daughter Eline Claparade Spur, who was married to the Swiss neurologist Edouard Claparade, to the Library of Geneva, Bibliothèque de Genève, formerly Bibliothèque publique et universitaire de Genève, where they compose the Fonds African Spur and can be consulted. Other papers concerning Spur, his daughter Eline Claparade Spur and her family can be consulted at Harvard University Library. Honours Order of St. Andrew Order of St. George Philosophy Epistemology Due to his personal readings and his attending of Drobisch's lectures, Spur must be considered as a Neo-Kantian philosopher. Spur referred to his philosophy as critical philosophy. He sought to establish philosophy as the science of first principles. He held that the task of philosophy was to investigate immediate knowledge, show the delusion of empiricism, and present the true nature of things by strict statements of facts and logically controlled inference. This method led Spur to proclaim the principle of identity or law of identity, AA, as the fundamental law of knowledge, which is opposed to the changing appearance of the empirical reality. Topic: Ontology. For Spur the principle of identity is not only the fundamental law of knowledge, it is also an ontological principle, expression of the unconditioned essence of reality realitat equals identitat mit sich, which is opposed to the empirical reality which in turn is evolution The principle of identity displays the essence of reality, only that which is identical to itself is real, the empirical world is ever-changing, therefore it is not real. Thus the empirical world has an illusory character, because phenomena are ever-changing, and empirical reality is unknowable. <inaudible> Religion and morality Religion, morality and philosophy, have for Spur the same theoretical foundation, the principle of identity, which is the characteristic of the supreme being, of the absolute, of God. God is not the creator deity of the universe and mankind, but man's true nature and the norm of all things, in general. The moral and religious conscience live in the consciousness of the contrast between this norm and empirical reality There is a radical dualism between the empirical nature of man and his moral nature. And the awareness of this dualism is the sole true foundation of moral judgment. Social justice Socially, Spur was not favorable to inherited wealth's accumulation in private hands and demanded just distribution of material goods, but disapproved of collectivism. He set the example, redistributing his personal inherited land properties to his former serfs. Critical reception Although he spent most of his life as a philosopher, Spur never held a university appointment and his writings remained relatively unknown and unrecognized throughout his life. Indeed, Spur complained of a wall or conspiracy of silence das Totschweigen. Yet, he had a significant influence on several eminent philosophers, scholars and writers such as Hans Weinger, Friedrich Nietzsche, William James, Leo Tolstoy and Rudolf Steiner. Weinger read Spur's Thought and Reality as soon as it was published 1873 and recalls that it made a great impression. Nietzsche described him as an outstanding logician, ein ausgezeichneter Logiker. James makes several references to Spur in his Principles of Psychology, for example when debating a certain Kantian issue he wrote, 
On the whole, the best recent treatment of the question known to me is in one of A. Spurs' works, his Denken und Werklichkeit. In 1896 Leo Tolstoy read Thought and Reality and was also deeply impressed, as he mentioned in a letter to Hélène Claparade Spur. Reading thought and reality has been a great joy for me. I do not know a philosopher so profound and at the same time so precise, I mean scientific, accepting only what is strictly necessary and clear for everybody. I am sure that his doctrine will be understood and appreciated as it deserves and that the destiny of his work will be similar to that of Schopenhauer, who became known and admired only after his death. In his journal, the 2nd of May 1896, Tolstoy wrote, "Still another important event, the work Thought and Reality of African Spur. I just read through what I wrote in the beginning of this notebook. At bottom, it is nothing else than a short summary of all of Spur's philosophy, which I not only had not read at that time, but about which I had not the slightest idea. This work clarified my ideas on the meaning of life remarkably, and in some ways strengthened them." The essence of his doctrine is that things do not exist, but only are impressions which appear to us in our conception as objects. Conception has the quality of believing in the existence of objects. This comes from the fact that the quality of thinking consists in attributing an objectivity to impressions, a substance, and a projecting of them into space. The next day he added, I am reading Spur all the time, and the reading provokes a mass of thoughts. The most important works on Spur's philosophy were published between 1900 and 1914 Lessing, Zakharov, Sagand, Huan, Martinetti. In a lecture given in 1917, Rudolf Steiner called Spur, "...extraordinarily fascinating," and an "...original thinker," and someone possessed of a "...subtlety," not found in his 19th-century contemporaries. As a consequence, Spur was unfortunately not understood and suffered all the distress that a thinker can experience from being entirely ignored, killed by silence as the saying goes. After the First World War, the interpretation of Spur's thought by the Italian philosopher Piero Martinetti (1872–1943) gave it a second life for a short while, in the form of a religious idealism. Before the Second World War, Hélène Claparade Spur published some new editions of her father's books in French and had an extensive exchange of letters to promote her father's thought. In 1937, for the centennial of Spur's birth, Martinetti published in Italy a monographic edition on Spur of the Revista di Filosofia Philosophical Review. After the Second World War, African Spur fell into oblivion. In 1990, for the centennial of Spur's death in Geneva, the Geneva Public Library organized an exhibition of African Spur's corpus and published the analytical catalogue. Many of Spur's books have not been entirely sold and are still available in their first or second edition in German, French, Italian, English, or Spanish translations. Presumably, due to the increasing interest in the argument at the beginning of the 21st century, a reprint of the Italian translation by Odordo Campa in 1911 of Spurs Moralitat und Religion 1874 has been published in 2008. Topic. Works 1866. Die Wahrheit, Leipzig, J.G. Findel under the pseudonym of Praise, Anagram of, A. Spur, 2nd ed., under the name of A. Spur 1867, Leipzig, Forster und Findel 1868. Anduding zu einem Widersprachlassen denken, Leipzig, J. G. Findel 1869. Auroring einer philosophischen Grundinsicht, Leipzig, J. G. Findel 1869. Forschung nach der Gewissheit in der Erkenntnis der Wirklichkeit, Leipzig, J. G. Findel 1869. Kurs Darstellung der Grundzüge einer Philosophischen Anschauungswies, Leipzig, J. G. Findel 1869. Vorschlag und die Freunde einer Vernunftigen Lebensführung, Leipzig, J. G. Findel, French translation by Hélène Claparade Spur, Projet d'une Coenobium Lackey, ed., of Coenobium, Lugano, 1907 1870. Kleine Schriften, Leipzig, J. G. Findel 1873. Denken und Wirklichkeit, Versuch einer Erinnerung der Kritischen Philosophie, 1st ed. Leipzig, J. G. Findel 1874. 
Moralitat und Religion, 1st ed. Leipzig, J. G. Findel, Italian translation by Odordo Campa, Religione, Lanciano, Caraba, 1911, reprint 2008 1876. Imperi und Philosophie, Vier Abhandlungen, Leipzig, J. G. Findel 1876. Zu der Frage der ersten Principien. In, Philosophische Mannschaft, 12, p. 49-55 1877. Denken und Wirklichkeit, Versuch einer Erinnerung der Kritischen Philosophie, 2 d ed. Leipzig, J. G. Findel, French translation from the 3rd ed., by A. Pengen, Pensée et Réalité, Essai d'une réforme de la philosophie critique, Lille, au siege des facultés, Paris, Alken, 1896 1877. Schin und Folgen der modernen Geistestrammung, 1st ed. Leipzig, J. G. Findel 1878. Moralität und Religion, 2 d ed. Leipzig, J. G. Findel 1878. Schin und Folgen der modernen Geistestrammung, 2 d ed. Leipzig, J. G. Findel 1879. Johann Gottlieb Fichte nach seinen Briefen, Leipzig, J. G. Findel 1879. Recht und Unrecht, eine Erroring der Principien, Leipzig, J. G. Findel, 2nd ed., 1883, Italian translation by Cesare Goretti, La Justizia, Milano, Lombarda, 1930, French translation, Principes de Justice Sociale, Genève, Editions du Mont Blanc, Hélène Claparade Spur ed., Pre, de Georges Demel, English translation by Alexander Frederick Falconer, Right and Wrong, Edinburgh, Oliver and Boyd, 1954, 1879. Uber Idealismus und Pessimismus, Leipzig, J. G. Findel 1879. Ob eine Vierte Dimension des Roms denkbar ist? In, Philosophische Mannschaft, 15, p. 350-352 1880. Wir Grundfragen, Leipzig, J. G. Findel 1883. Studien, Leipzig, J. G. Findel 1883. Uber Religion, Eingisch Pratsch, 1st ed. Leipzig, J. G. Findel, Italian translation by O. Campa, ed., of Coenobium, Lugano, 1910. 1883-85. Gesemelt Schriften Leipzig, J. G. Findel, republished in 1896 by Paul Neff, Stuttgart. 1885. Philosophische Essays, Leipzig, J. G. Findel, republished in 1896 by Paul Neff, Stuttgart 1887. Esquisses de philosophie critique, Paris, Ancien Library Germer Bailier et C., F. Alkin Editor, Russian translation by N. A. Bracker, Moscow, 1901, Italian translation by O. Campa, with an introduction by P. Martinetti, Milan, 1913 1890 Der Questions Vitalis, de la connaissance du bien et du mal, de la mortalité, Genève, Staplemore, published anonymously. 1895. Wie gelangen wir zur Freiheit und Harmonie des Denkens. In, Archive für Systematische Philosophie, Bd. I, Heft 4, p. 457-473. 1897. Uber Religion, Eingisch Pratsch, 2 d ed. Leipzig, J. G. Findel 1899. Nouvelles Esquisses de Philosophie Critique Etudes Posthumes, Paris, Library Félix Alkin, Spanish translation by R. Urbano, Madrid, 1904 1908-1909. Gesemelt Work, Leipzig, J. A. Barth Hélène Claparade Spur ed. 1930. Esquisses de Philosophie Critique, Paris, Libraire Félix Alkin Nouvelle Aide, avec une introduction par Léon Brunskvig, Membre de l'Institut, 1930. Propos sur la guerre, Paris, Editions Truchy Leroy Hélène Claparade Spur ed. 1937. Paroles d'une sage, Paris Genève, Jusseurs Labour, Choix de pensées d'Africain Spur avec une esquisse biographique, Hélène Claparade Spur ed. 2d ed. Paris, Alkin, 1938. 1948. Lettre inédites de African Spur au Professeur Pengen, Nucatel, Editions du Griffin, Intrad, Demille Brayer. Notes
Topic. Further reading Selected works on Spur Charles Baudouin. La philosophie African Spur 1837 A l'occasion de son centenaire. In, Action et Pensée, 1938, Juin, p. 65-75. Léon Brunskvig. La philosophie religieuse de Spur. In, Comptes rendus du tout im Congrès international de philosophie, Geneva, 1904, p. 329-334. Hélène Claparade Spur, Evocation. Tolstoy Nietzsche, Rilke, Spur. Georg et C. Libraires de l'Université, Genève, 1944. Hélène Claparade Spur, Un Precursor, A Spur, Lausanne, Genève, Peyote and C., 1920. Hélène Claparade Spur, Vie de A Spur, In African Spur, Nouvelles Esquisses de Philosophie Critique, Paris, Félix Alkin, 1899. Augusto del Noche, Filosofi dell'esistenza e della liberta, Spur, Chestov, Lequier, Renouvier, Benda, Weil, Vidari, Faggi, Martinetti, Renzi, Juvalta, Mazzantini, Castelli, Capagrassi, A cura di Francesco Mercadanti e Bernardino Cassidy, Milano, Giuffre, 1992. Fabrizio Frigerio, Catalogue raisonné du fonds African Spur, Genève, Bibliothèque publique et universitaire de Genève, 1990. Fabrizio Frigerio, Un philosophie russe à Genève, African Spur, 1837 1890, in, Musées de Genève, 1990, 307, p. 3 7. Fabrizio Frigerio, Spur, African Alexandrovich, in, Schweizer Lexicon, Mengis and Zier ed., Luzerne, 1991 1993, t. v. p. 31. Adolphe Ferrier, African Spur, in, Bibliothèque Universelle, 1911, Vol. 63, p. 166-175. Alfred Hogg, Der Substanzbegriff und eine Erkenntnis Theoretischen Grundlagen in der Philosophie des African Spur, 1837-1890. Historisch kritischer Betrag zu neueren Philosophie, Würzburg, 1923-224. Hogg's dissertation at Würzburg. Gabriel Huan, Essay sur le dualisme de Spur, Paris, Library Félix Alkin, 1914. Huan's dissertation at Paris. Humanis, Pseud, of Ernst Eberhardt, African Spur, Ein Philosoph der Neuzeit, Leipzig, J. G. Findel, 1892, New Ed., 2009. Theodor Lessing, African Spurs Erkant Nihiler, Gearing, Munchau, 1900. Lessing's dissertation at Erlangen, African Spurs Erkant Nihiler, 1899, in, Kantstudien, B.D., 6, Berlin, 1901, Piero Martinetti, Africano Spur, in, Resegna Nazionale, 1913, FASC. 16 GENNAIO 11 Febrio. Piero Martinetti, La Liberta, Milan, Lombarda, 1928, Spur, pp. 282-289, New Ed. Torino, Aragno 2004, Spur, p. 248-254. Piero Martinetti, Il pensiero di Africano Spur, Torino, Albert Meignet, 1990. Published and with an introduction by Franco Alessio. Review by Fabrizio Figerio in, Revue de Théologie et de Philosophie, Lausanne, 1993, 125, p. 400. Auguste Pengen, Spur et sa Doctrine, Revue de Métaphysique et de Morale, 1893, p. 216-248. Revista di Philosophia, 1937, a. 28, n. 3, Africano Spur nel primo centenario della nascita, asterisk 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 Africano Spur, 1837-1890, e Carando, La religione in Africano Spur, a del noce, osservazioni sul realismo e l'idealismo in a Spur, asterisk asterisk asterisk, il dolore nel pessimismo di a Spur, p Martinetti, il dualismo di a Spur, a Paggi, Lucy ed ombre nella morale di Africano Spur, g Solari, Dorito e metafisica nella morale di Africano Africano Spur. Joseph Sagand, Le Dialisme des Valores et la Doctrine de Spur in, Revue Philosophique de la France et de la Tranger, 1912, 8, p. 113-139. Samuel Spitzer, Darstellung und Kritik der Moral Philosophie Spurs, Rob, 1896. Spitzer's Dissertation at Würzburg. Andreas Zakharov, Spurs Theoretische Philosophie dargestellt und erlautert, Vita I. T. H., Thomas and Hubert, 1910. 
Zakharov's dissertation at Jena. Mary Barbara Zedlin, African Alexandrovich Spur, in, Paul Edwards ed., Encyclopedia of Philosophy, 544, New York, Macmillan, 1972, Selected Works on Nietzsche's Relationship to Spur Peter Borneedle, The Surface and the Abyss, Nietzsche as Philosopher of Mind and Knowledge, Berlin, New York, 2010. Hélène Claparade Spur, Evocation, Tolstoy, Nietzsche, Rilke, Spur, Geneva, Georg, 1944. Hélène Claparade Spur, Friedrich Nietzsche und Afrikan Spur, Philosophie und Leben, 1930, 6, p. 242-250. Maud Marie Clark and David Dudrick, Nietzsche's Post-Positivism, European Journal of Philosophy, 2004, 12, p. 369-385. Karl Heinz Dickop, Zum Wandel von Nietzsche's Seinsverstandene, African Spur und Gustav Teichmüller, Zeitschrift für Philosophische Forschung, 1970, 24, p. 50 71. Paolo Diorio, La Superstition des Philosophies Critiques, Nietzsche et African Spur, Nietzsche Studien, 1993, 22, p. 257 294, La Superstizione dei Philosophi Critici, Nietzsche e African Spur. Hyper Nietzsche, Domenico M. Fazio, Il pensiero del Giovanni Nietzsche e African Spur, in, Bolletino di Storia della Filosofia dell'Università degli Studi di Lecce, 1986 9, 9, p. 243 262. Domenico M. Fazio, Nietzsche e il criticismo, elementi cantiani e neocantiani e critica della dialettica hegeliana nella formazione filosofica del Giovanni Nietzsche, Urbino, Quattro Venti, 1991. Michael Stephen Green, Nietzsche and the Transcendental Tradition, Urbana and Chicago, University of Illinois Press, International Nietzsche Studies Series, 2002. Michael Stephen Green, Nietzsche's Place in Nineteenth-Century German Philosophy, Inquiry, 2004, 47, p. 168-188. Review of Will Dudley, Hegel, Nietzsche, and Philosophy, Thinking Freedom, Cambridge U Press 2002. Michael Stephen Green, Was African Spur a Phenomenalist, and What Difference Does It Make for Understanding Nietzsche? The Journal of Nietzsche Studies, v. 46, n. 2, 2015, p. 152-176. Nadim J. Z. Hussain, Nietzsche's Positivism, European Journal of Philosophy, 2004, 12, p. 326-368. Sergio Sanchez, Logica, Verita e Credenza, Alsun Considerazioni in Merito alla Relazione Nietzsche Spur in, Maria Cristina Forneri ed, La Trema del Testo, Su Alsun Lecher di Nietzsche, Lecce, Malela, 2000, p. 249-282. Sergio Sanchez, Linguaggio, Conoscenza e Verita nella Filosofia del Giovanni Nietzsche, I Framenti Postumi del 1873 e la Loro Fonti, Annuario Filosofico, 2016, p. 213-240. Sergio Sanchez, El problema del conocimiento en la filosofía del joven Nietzsche, Córdoba, Argentina, 2001 Carl Schlechter and Annie Anders, Friedrich Nietzsche, von den Verborgen und Anfangen seines Philosophierens, Stuttgart Bad Cannstatt, F. Frohmann, 1962, p. 119-122, 159-166. Robin Small, Nietzsche, Spur, and Time, Journal of the History of Philosophy, 1994, 32, p. 82-102. Reprinted in Chapter 1 of Robin Small, Nietzsche in Context, Aldershot, England, Ashgate, 2001. Topic external links Clapperade Spur Family Papers at Harvard University Library Online version of Spur's Thought and Reality, 2D ed., 1877 in German Ponce et Realité, 1896 Transl. Of Thought and Reality at Bibliothèque Nationale de France in French Esquisses de Philosophie Critique, 1887, at Bibliothèque Nationale de France in French Paroles d'une Sage, Paris Genève, 1937 in French American website on Spur Article on African Spur in Russian Article on African Spur in a Biographic Dictionary in Russian Kirovorad Regional Universal Research Library's website on Spur, mostly in Ukrainian. Letters of Leo Tolstoy in Russian. Book of Michael Stephen Green, Nietzsche and the Transcendental Tradition on African Spur Nietzsche relationship. Fazio's article on African Spur Nietzsche relationship in Italian.